All right, guys, on today's video, um, I'm going to show you my own personal uh, settings that I use for the Not64 emulator. So let's load it up. So this is basically the same as the Wii 64 with a few minor tweaks. Uh, so for this emulator, you're going to be able to use the Wii Remote with Nunchuck, uh, the Wii Classic controller, the Wii Pro controller, the Wii U Pro controller, or the GameCube controller. You can also use the USB controllers. Um, so first thing we're going to do, go to Settings. Under the General uh, Native Saves Device, um, I usually have everything on my SD card. But if you were to have it on the USB, it would be the FAT. And then card A and card B. This is the GameCube memory cards. Uh, when it comes to the save states device, you're going to pick the SD or the USB. For me, I'm going to pick the, the SD. GPU emulator, I keep it on the second one. CPU clock divider, I keep it on two. Uh, save settings, we're going to come back to this in a minute. Under the video tab, uh, show frames per second. Uh, this is preference. I just like to keep it off. Screen mode, I pick 4x3, but you can also force it to 16x9. The CPU frame buffer, I keep that off. The 2x textures, I keep that off. The FB textures, I keep it off. If you're having any problems with video on some of the games, uh, you can turn this back on and see if that helps. Under the input, uh, this is basically where you're going to configure your controllers. So go to configure input. Automatic, if you're using the GameCube controller or the Wii Classic controller or the Pro controller. If you have any other controller, you can go under manual. Uh, pick whatever control you're going to use. And now when you go back, um, you can do the memory pack or rumble pack. Uh, configure buttons. This is if you want to configure your buttons for the controller that you're using. Um, if you're using the GameCube controller, like I said, um, it's going to be already mapped out. Uh, save configuration, SD or FAT, which is a USB device, auto load slot, default. Now under the audio, uh, disable audio, no. If you're having issues with the game's audio, um, just go to yes and it'll shut off the audio. I just keep it on no. Uh, speed limit, I keep it in the middle. You can either have it on off or double, but I keep it in the middle. It usually works best. Uh, scales pitch, yes. And then saves, auto load native saves, yes. Auto save native saves, yes. So copy saves and delete saves. Uh, you're going to be able to delete or copy your saves from the SD card. You can do it right here. Now let's go back. Now to load a ROM, just go to load ROM. Uh, so from SD, from USB, or from DVD, I'm just going to pick SD. I'm going to load up Banjo-Kazooie. Shouldn't take too long. Now the game's loaded, as you can see. Um, now when you go into the current ROM tab, uh, you're going to be able to show ROM info, restart game, uh, load save file. This is if you have uh, save files on your SD card. So this is where you would load them from. Now let's go back. Play game. And the game should load with no issues.
Now if you want to load another game, press the home button on the Pro Controller. We're going to load up another ROM quickly, so load ROM from SD. We're going to load up um, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Uh, this one's a little bit of a bigger file, so it's going to take a little bit longer to load. Give it a second. Go to OK. And then play game. And it should load up the, the ROM. Uh, this one plays well, uh, pretty good as well. Uh, so let me know if you guys are using the same uh, settings as I am. Or what you recommend. But I find this is the uh, best settings for the, for the best result. Uh, there's also a compatibility list uh, for the games and the issues. I will leave it in the pinned comment. So have a look and see what games work the best for this emulator. I hope uh, this information was helpful. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and on to the next one.